Hey guys, my name is Francois from Production Music Live and I have a new computer. It's this one, it's the 13 inch MacBook Pro with the Apple M1 chip, a core CPU, and this one has 16 gigabytes of uh, memory and two terabytes of SSD. It runs the Big Sur version of the operating system and I have installed Ableton Live 10.1.9 suite right here and it runs through Rosetta. Um, so in this kind of compatibility emulation mode, other than, for example, Logic, which is optimized already for this chip. But the good news is Ableton is working. Seems like everything is fine. This is quite a heavy project right here and it plays. Everything is uh, going well. And um, I was wondering, you know, what types of plugins are already working without causing any issues. And for example, I've installed Diva and this project actually is using Diva. So if we take a look at this uh, pad here, this is Diva running smoothly on the M1 ARM processor. So this nicely works and you could ask, yeah, well, why does anybody need a 13 inch MacBook Pro to produce music? Well, I'm not always in the studio and I produce music all the time, but I might be on the road or at home or something. And that's why I like working on a laptop as well. And you need a powerful laptop for those projects we are usually making. I'm not perfectly happy with the Intel performance of the Intel processors of the last year. So I was especially interested in this M1 and I'm quite surprised how stable this is all working. You can definitely work in Ableton, work on a heavy project, even record your screen while you're doing that in 4K and it just works super nice. So um, let's load up a project using Serum. Um, this one here, for example, that was the Diva project here. And now we're going to take a look at the project with Serum. By the way, it loads very quickly um, when you boot the computer or when you uh, get it out of the sleep mode, it loads very quickly. Um, this is quite a heavy project. It also loads it quite quickly. Remember, this is running on Rosetta, so that's not an Ableton version that's optimized for the M1 just yet. So we have this track with 60, uh, 56 tracks and lots of Serum instances on it. So Serum all already installed on this computer as well. Um, loads up, works. Um, if we, for example, go through these uh, different wavetables here, let's choose one that has a little bit of morphing going on see this just like visually all works nicely and if we play the track See, there was this tiny glitch. There was something going on. I just went to full screen mode and there was something with that Safari browser. So, you know, it's not perfect, but I mean, that's not a big problem, right? Like you can also follow this track follow uh, locator here. Seems fine. Does it run more smoothly usually? I'm not even sure, like it's hard to tell. I mean, this project 
runs exactly the same on the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I spent half of the money on this 13 inch thing here with this RAM pr processor. And it just like runs it smoothly. And it doesn't even like uh, put a, you know, a fan on or something. It doesn't sound like a vacuum cleaner while doing so. And it's not getting as hot as the MacBook 16. It's pretty crazy, honestly. <laughs> I, I was quite surprised when I when I saw the performance here. It's like that's not even you know an optimized Ableton version. It's crazy. So I think you guys can see performance with Serum and Ableton just fine. Um, let's load the next project. Let's take a look at the Arturia Mini and see what this will do. I was able to install it through the Arturia Software Center. That thing just uh, can be downloaded. You can install it and activate your licenses and everything. It will uh, definitely install it to, to your computer. And if we look at the Synth Mini 3 here and we open it up, it loads just fine. No problems here. And if we play back this project, which is Analog uh, Rooms, one of our PML templates. Fantastic. Um, what are we doing here? We are at the highest buffer size at the moment because I'm also recording the screen in 4K. Just wanted to make sure we don't have any dropouts or something, but it might even run at a lower one with, with such a project, especially that has a little less tracks here. So would also be working at lower latencies and buffer sizes. <laughs> Fantastic. So all this stuff is already working. I also managed to install all FabFilter plugins. I even got a mail from FabFilter today or uh, no, yesterday or the day before yesterday. They pretty much are finished optimizing them for ARM processors as well. Um, RX7 or the music production suite from Isotope works as well. Um, so what doesn't work? I tried to install Massive from Native Instruments and you need to go through Native Access to install your stuff and activate your licenses. And when you download Native Access, it will tell you, hey, we are not yet compatible with this version of the OS or this type of pro processor. So you can't install, but I wasn't, well, maybe you can, I don't know, maybe there's another way of doing it, but I could, I wasn't able to install Massive um, but pigments and stuff and, you know, uh, tools like Sooth uh, 2, for example, they will uh, load up fine. Yeah, <laughs> they will load up fine as well. So, I mean, you can honestly get started. If, you, if you're looking for a laptop right now, if this was the time and you just need that tiny thing and you're always connecting it to a screen anyways, you can pick it up. It's it's for the performance you're getting. I think the price is totally acceptable, um, especially compared to the Intel versions of these um, devices. And I think once everything is perfectly programmed from all these different um, developers for the ARM processors, 
oh it will get so much better finally you know finally some improvements on the processor side of things and it's not like and the innovation isn't taking it from eight cores to 16 cores but pretty much staying at the same uh, problem uh, on a single core usage so really exciting uh, really nice that all this stuff is already working and performing really well i did another test by the way um with the uh with just loading up instances of diva um and comparing it to the macbook pro 16 inch version and so i was able to um, use this midi here and load so four voices and load up diva patches and so this computer this 13 inch was able to do this 16 times uh, right now with this Ableton running on Rosetta and when I did it on the MacBook Pro 16 inch from uh, late 2019 I could only put 18 so only two more instances of Diva uh, without it breaking down I'm not sure if it works now with the screen recording going on but let's quickly see yeah now we like the screen recording is eating a little bit of the cpu so let's see if we can do it with 15. yeah okay so um this test in comparison to the 16 inch was just very close and again, remembering this is running on Rosetta. Anyways, I hope you found it useful. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and maybe some other questions you might have. Can you test this? Can you test that? Let me know. I might actually sit down and test it with other plugins as well. It's also very interesting uh, for me at this point. And um, yeah, other than that, see you soon. Bye.